Receive Dragon Ball. Fake news. What's up, guys? This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope you have guts. Well, let's play Mega Man. It's kind of weird to say no number or or letter afterwards, huh? Well, whatever. <laughs> That being said though guys, welcome back. Last time we started the game with Guts Man and Bomb Man. So yeah, Guts Man, oh my god. Like I said, look up the Guts Man meme. It's all about ass. It's all about ass. Yeah, he's the Guts Ass Man. That being said though, with Ass Man, oh sorry, Guts Man and Bomb Man out the way, which one should we take out next? Roulette to the ice! Or Roulette. Our next robot master will be... Sky! Yes! Cut Man! And by far his stage is one of the most annoying ones in the game. For me. So, there you go. Now, here's one thing that you should know right away. Remember these bastards here? Yeah! The bastards from Guts Man's level. Yeah, they're back. I'd like to call on this version of the game Stalker Bots. Now, um, we also got the Guts Arm, or Super Arm as it's called. Now, whenever you get close to a a boulder like this, I don't know why the fuck it's, it's flashing like that. Seizure warning much? <laughs> but yeah, you can actually lift it and throw it at your fucking enemies. So it is very fucking beautiful. I would not use the, um, the, um, Bomb Man's weapon here, though. It's not very useful. <laughs> but yeah, try your best to avoid these fuckers, because they will track your ass, like, throughout the entire stage. Look! We're all the way on the other side of the starting part of the stage, and these bastards are still following me. Like, fuck. One of the most annoying enemies in the game, next to those fucking, um... Construction worker bots, whatever the fuck they're called. Throwing their fucking. Who the fuck uses pickaxe? Well, then again, if they're using pickaxes as as a fucking projectile, that's actually pretty clever. Uh, unlike these fucking pea shots. Uh, ow! Uh, yeah, thank you, fuckers. Yeah, look at all these bastards. Look at them all. They're like on every fucking thing. And if you happen to fuck up, then, um, yeah, the knockback effect will knock your ass out of this damn place. Watch yourself. Because if you fuck up, it's just going to make the game a lot more annoying for you. But then again, that's what the first Mega Man game is all about. It's all about being annoyed. Because there's so many mechanics and enemies and shit like that that's going to fucking annoy you. The first game is like that. It's like... Uh, and of course, I'm playing this before any potential bug. What the fuck are those? More importantly, what the fuck are these? Uh, but yeah, but this is before any um bi uh, bugs or glitches. I was about to say, this before any bitches were fixed. <laughs> No, no. This was before any actual bugs were fixed. So, yeah, and like the, um... You know, the Mega Man Legacy Collection, and the Mega Man Collection, or Anniversary Collection. You know, stuff like that, you know, for the PS2 and Steam and all that from back in the day. Yeah. If they did potentially fix some bugs or glitches, it ain't with the OG NES version. You have to deal with that shit. The thing just literally fell down the fucking ladder. Then again, those things don't even matter. They're just points. With no real importance. Ah! Excuse me, ma'am! <laughs> ah, they're all over the place! Come on. Come on! Disappear! Disappear! 
Bruh, I, I kind of need you to fuck off now. This is getting on my nerves. Alright, how about this then? Oh, oh shit. Be kind of interesting that actually damaged me. I wonder if it does. Okay, cool. About to say, you wouldn't dare damage your, your master, would you? Of course you wouldn't. Alright. Hmm, gotta handle this very carefully. Hmm, can I do this without dying? Okay, cool, cool. There you go. Okay, that part was not as annoying, but like I said, we're getting to the parts that are very fucking annoying. Yeah, look at this. You have to move at the right times. Luckily, those things are like suction cups, so they'll stick to the wall, giving you a, a brief few seconds to get the fuck out of the way. However, if you're slow, then, well, you get fucked over. I don't know why the fuck that thing is spewing, um, scissors and shit. Whatever the fuck those things are. Ah, but I will take that energy up. Thank you, ma'am. Alright, we're almost out of here. But now we got this bitch. Ah. It's all good though. It's like it's like playing hopscotch. Just gotta dodge the beans. Ah. Now this was now since this is the original Mega Man. Take a look at how the spikes are designed. Look how sharp as fuck they are. And then we got these. And then we got this bitch again. Yeah, go up, respawn him. But luckily with my super jump code. Ah, bitch! <laughs> That's called avoiding challenge. And you know what? I have no shame. I have no shame about using it. The moon jump code, that is. I have no shame about using it because it's just so amazing. Because jumping mechanics and Mega Man suck ass! So, there you go. Alright. Now, I can... I, this is why Mega Man 2 onwards is so amazing. One aspect of that is that there are no fucking enemies in the boss tunnel. Why the fuck did they put these enemies in the boss tunnel? You're literally about to face the boss, and you got these fucking small enemies in the way before you get to the fucking boss. And I thought Bomb Man's, uh, Bomb Man's boss corridor was shitty. That's just fucked up. But it's all good. It's all good. Equip the guts arm and let's go to town! Cause it's time for the boss fight! Versus the barber. Uh, 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 cut man. There you go. Ow! Damn it! And of course, I wouldn't miss. And you only get two fucking boulders up in this bitch. Yeah, nah, nah. Let's try that again. That's also called ignore challenge. Using the save states to your advantage. Alright, gotta get the bell there. Yeah, yeah, you can fuck off! Ah! <laughs> wow! Hope you had some guts! Cause that boulder got shoved in his guts. Holy cow. You're a victim. Well, he won't be shitting that out. <laughs> <laughs> talking about a talking about getting no 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 wait 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 what's a good pun I can use talk about cutting to the chase lame okay okay sorry sorry whatever at least we got the, this bitch out the way his stage was more annoying than the other ones but that doesn't mean the other one's stages aren't aren't annoying either how about we go to the next one to end the episode what's I our next robot master will be this guy, and I do not like this robot master, despite the fact that he's so fucking cool looking. And Lack Man, yes, I have very fond and very traumatic memories of this stage. For one thing, Lack Man is hard as fuck, and I'm not talking about the, t t uh, uh, I'm not talking about his attacks. Well, actually, his attacks are pretty- No, the stage itself is annoying. But if you can manage to get past the stage and the shitty boss corridor that awaits us, just like Bomb Man's level, then you're set in stone. Now, here's the thing about, um, Elect Man's level. 
Electman's level has the optional weapon of the game, the magnet beam. The problem is actually getting to this bitch without taking a whole bunch of damage in the process. Ah! Oh! Yeah, fuck! Now, that, I could avoid that. That was only like one brief millisecond on there, and I still got damaged. Ow! Whatever. I'll take the damage just to get that shit. Alright. How should I go about this without taking damage? Then again, I'm damage prone, so the damage is unavoidable. Ow! Yeah, let's try that again. Ah! Uh, there you go. Uh, but yeah, it gets harder from here. Look at that! And look at and look at how easily I just fucked up. Look at that! Wow! Ow! You can fuck up very easily in this stage just by being surprised by these beams. How did I fuck up? <sighs> Try again! Damn it! Yeah. Watch out for these things. This time, save state. Dumbass. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. If you even get hit by these things, you're going to take a massive amount of damage. Just a small precursor to what awaits you in the boss fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, viewers. My fucking alarm went off. Uh oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Whew. You know what? I wasn't even paying attention there, too. I'm, I'm glad I had the foresight to move. And I might want to move quickly. Run! Ow! Try that again. This time, jump as high as you can. Ow! You. We're not done. <laughs> the torture continues. Ah! I hope you have, like, really good Texas, um, shooting skills. Oh, no! The disappearing blocks mechanic. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Because I knew there was one stage you were going to be showing up in. And I was not looking forward to it. Of course. Of course. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. You need to rely on that to get through. Do not use the guts arm before you get to the top here. So that, well, yeah. Otherwise, you just end up wasting that energy unless you're using another boss weapon. See, so yeah, just don't bother using the guts arm at all because we're going to be needing that to get the magnet, um, the, the magnet beam. First off, I need to get this energy up. Ugh! There you go. Watch me fall to my death. Yup! <laughs> Didn't I call that shit? Like I said, I'm damage prone. I don't know how to dodge shit. I didn't train with Piccolo. Okay, can I dodge? Can I do it? Can I jump? Ah! The thing is right there. And like I said, Mega Man jump mechanics are mega shitty. <laughs> and that's not hyperbole. <sighs> now, uh, bitch! Damn it! Fucking green trolls. Literally, trolls are green. But, yeah, in order to get to where the magnet beam is, you're going to have to go through this section. It's Wait a minute, it's either this section or the other one. But then again, you see these, these blocks here? You can actually get these out the way with the guts arm. So, at this point, it's just about you picking the right path. And quickly! Because the, this, this passageway is so narrow, like a really tight hole. And if you're not quick enough, then, well, eh, you're going to miss out on the pleasure of squeezing through that hole. As tight as it is. Fuck yeah! Mm. There you go. Yeah, gotta, gotta get up in there. Get in there. Get in there! Ah! Oh. oh, yeah! And there you get, and there you have it, viewers. We got the magnet beam. Yes. Take a look at it. Yoink! The magnet beam forms bridges that you can use to stand on. The thing is, they don't last long, so you gotta be quick with it. 
Like I said in the uh, like I said in the last episode, utility weapons like this will always have infinite ammo for me. Because they're, they're so fucking useful to have. Because we have no rush jet or rush marine, even though that even though the rush marine was completely fucking worthless. But yeah, we don't have the rush coil or anything like that. Nah, nah. We gotta rely on good old ingenuity and old school tactics like the magnet beam. Ugh. All right. At this point, it's just a matter of getting to Elect Man now. And do you remember what I was talking about earlier about the boss corridor being completely shitty? You're about to see why in a couple minutes. All right. Do not use the cutting. Um. What the fuck is the name of this weapon? Rolling cutter. Okay, okay, there you go. Sorry, some of the weapons, some of the weapons in the first game don't, you don't get the names of what the weapons are. You see, Mega Man 2 onwards, they let you know what weapons you get. Hence, Mega Man 2 was the first game that introduced the weapon get, or you got such and such. So, there you go. You got Rico Oha. Ah, I need to replay Mega Man X4. I'm going to replay Mega Man X4 one of these days. There is a there is a game called Mega Man X4 Undubbed that I've been really dying to play lately. So I will get to that eventually. I haven't played Mega Man 4 in like, or Mega Man X4 in like, let me see, like three years. Fucking A. No, four years. That's how long this channel's been up. Damn. All right. Wait a minute. Wasn't I just here? You know... I'm not high, am I? Because I could've sworn I was just in this section. I... I... Okay, okay, this is new. About to say, like, please don't tell... I'm not... Please don't tell me I'm, I'm high or drunk or something like that. Because I know we just came from that section. Bitch! Really? Look at that! They put that bitch there on purpose. They put him there on purpose. They put him there on fucking purpose. They want you to die. <laughs> Unfortunately, not today. <laughs> the problem now, however, is that now we're stuck in here. This is the boss corridor that'll lead us to a lek man. The problem is, remember I told you how shitty it will be? Well, climb up and you'll find out. Now, if you have patience problems like me, this is one of your worst nightmares. Getting up here without getting fucking shocked by the electric beams. Which is, I think, the name of the attack here, right? The elect beam, or the electric beam. Thunderbolt, as I like to call it. Elect bolt. Come on. We're almost there. Yes! Believe it or not, that one was always shitty for me to get through. Oh shit! Move! Ow! The boss fight just started. He already said "fuck you." I like that. That's why I like a like man as much as as much as he is a bastard. He gets to the point, and he's not getting cutting to the point. No, no, no wait, wait, wait. Oh god, I literally forgot the pun I just said a few minutes ago. What was it? Yeah. Cutting to the chase. No, he cuts. Ow! <laughs> yeah, it's with. Ow! With purpose. Talking about, talk about getting a thunderbolt shoved up your ass. That's a lit. No, no, you're getting a thunderbolt. You're getting penetrated by a thunderbolt. Oh. Fucking a. Your time. There you go. Alright! Round two, bitch! Let's do this. Oh! Yeah, back that ass up! Back that ass up! Huh? Oh! I almost had him. But you know what? I was prepared for that. Seriously! Let me stop time. Oh! 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 <laughs> Move, bitch! <laughs> 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 yeah.
Yes! Stop time! Prophet received Dragon Ball. Fake news! Fucking nice. Fucking nice. Now, I didn't cut to the chase, but I have the cutting edge. Your puns suck! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, viewers. Shit! I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. But, this was the worst stage in the game. Worst stage in the game. As much as I love Elect Man, this is the worst stage in the game. But we got two more stages. And guess what? It's a fire and ice combo. Fucking yes. I hope you brought some icy hot next time. Guys, enjoy. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for giving me this from me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Duh. So next time, dudes and dudettes, Mike from Rage Break Game and Open Rage Breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.